Today, we'll show you the correct way to install wiring for the LG R290 monoblock unit. This video is a step-by-step -step guide based on the installation manual. Simply watch and follow along for an easy installation process. If you need more detailed instructions, please refer to the installation manual and wiring diagram attached to the control box cover. First, use a leak detector before opening the unit. Then, remove the side panel and the cover of the control box from the outdoor unit. Before starting the wiring work, check again if there is any refrigerant leakage by leakage detector. Let's connect the power cable as shown in the installation manual. Make sure to use a manual screwdriver instead of an electric one to tighten the terminal screws properly. Connect the power cable to the main power terminal. Attach the earth cable to the control box case at the point marked with the earth symbol. Use cable clamps to keep the power cable from moving around. Then pop the side panel and cover back onto the outdoor unit and secure them with screws. Now let's move on to the indoor unit wiring part. When taking off the cover, be careful and hold it with a spare hand so it does not fall. You can see how each terminal block connects to each part, and now I'm connecting the power and communication cable between indoor and outdoor unit. And let's install the three-way valve for DHW tank. As you know, it's for flow switching between space heating circuit and water tank heating loop. Please check which three-way valve works with LG Therma V unit Firstly, 